that you bless all the people who've donated it and their generosity in following you. Bless all the people who receive it as they need to be known, be made known to them that they are loved and cared for. And bless the people who distribute it, those working in that ministry to, to keep them safe and healthy and strong to be able to, to do it. Uh, and we ask all of this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Now the second, uh, the first Sunday of the month, uh, we also receive a, a second offering. Now, just want to remind people, we've, we've changed things up a little bit. Instead of passing a plate, we have baskets that we shoot down the pews to, to, to collect the things. So we'll be doing that today. Uh, just a reminder of that. Let's see. Oh, oh I, I love this. A friendly reminder. The CDC has changed their guidelines and recommends anyone who has been vaccinated to wear a mask inside during group gatherings. And I want to also sort of share this. My, my husband works for uh, Florida State, not Florida State, Florida, University of Florida, and they have signs on all the buildings. You can't go in any UF building without a mask, no matter whether you're vaccinated or not. So just keep that in mind. We're friendly here with it, so it's a friendly reminder. Reminder two, if you are new to us, we're so glad you're here, and we ask that you take some time to fill out one of these to give us some information about you and just put in the offering plate as it goes by, or if you've changed any of your information to do the same thing so we can keep our files up to date. Let's see. Oh, talking about the, the food pantry earlier, uh, if anyone is in need of food, uh, they can get it here today. Uh, just see Dale over there, and uh, he'll take care of you. Speaking of which, Dale, you got something to say? I do. Funny you should ask. Well, your name's on my list. I knew we had something. <laughs> Good morning, Saints. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you about as in Christmas past, I don't have to tell you what, kind of, what year, what time of year it is. I heard uh, Christmas carols in a place I went shopping the other day and I uh, saw my first Christmas ad on TV. So like in years past, we're going, the board has decided to take up a Christmas bonus fund. <clears throat> And as you know, those, uh, that fund will be distributed to, to the pastor, uh, to Kurt, our administrator, and to Ron, the music director. We're going to start that today. We're going to do it for three Sundays the rest of this month. If you would like to give to that fund, uh, if you give cash, get a uh, envelope that's in front of you behind the chair and if you do if you do a check you can write it to uh, st john's and in the memo please put um, christmas bonus fund and again we're going to start that today and go through the next three sundays in november and while i'm up here as a board member i want to invite everyone to come to the congregational meeting that we're having here after church on the 21st of november we'll have our congregational meeting so i hope, I hope everybody can come and lastly since i'm up here i'll take the opportunity if you remember a couple of months ago i was up here and asking for some help in one of our biggest ministries the um, pantry and two wonderful people step forward. Not only are they dedicated and they're here on Tuesdays, their uh, organizational skills are much better than mine, and they've also come up with the thing that we're taking the pantry to the people. That means, if you, like Pastor said, if you know somebody that needs some uh, help in food and toilet articles, you can come see me. I want you to help me thinking um, Mark and Justin, who have stepped forward in the pantry and doing a great job. If you know somebody needs some help, come see one of us three. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for taking care of one of my announcements here. Toy drive. We're doing a toy drive again this year for uh, I can uh, to help them with the children that are infected or affected by uh, 
HIV and AIDS, and we're doing it the way we did it last year in a very simple way. Uh, instead of going and buying gifts and wrapping them and bringing them in, we just, if, you, if you're able and want to, <coughs> to go and get a $10 gift certificate or multiples gift certificates at uh, Walmart or Target and uh, just bring them in. Uh, deadline for the cards is November the 28th. Uh, Ron, I see the choir is growing a little bit. Yes. You know. Yes. And you're having, you see how of your choir and uh, practice. We'd like to double and triple our size. If sure. You we can. And people, please come and share the gift of music with us. We've got some nice things in, in, in line. And uh, uh, as I heard a little bit earlier, uh, you say, well, I don't know how to sing, but you know how to sing Happy Birthday? Come on, join us. Okay, and that's Wednesday at 6.30? Wednesday at 6.30. here at the church, so uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. That's it! Yeah. Yay! So let's join now together in our call to worship. Unless our God builds the house, its builders labor in vain. We have come into this house, built by the Holy One, to worship the God of creation. Unless our God watches over the city, those who watch stand guard in vain. We have come to listen to the sorrows of people who throughout the generations have shown us the way. The widow who gives her last coin and Naomi and Ruth for a lifelong companions for each other remind us of the risk we are free to take with confidence that God is present through times of plenty and times of want all along our journey through life. Let us worship. Let us worship God.
be seated. Good morning, church. Good morning. It's really good to see everyone today. Some new faces. Some are just getting back to getting inside the folks. And uh, what a beautiful day to be here. <laughs> the many ways in which we pray at St. John the Apostle is going on the screen. We have uh, another way. We have this prayer book that's in the back. And you can put your prayer in here and it will be read on Sunday. We also have uh, a prayer book. If you have just a small prayer, you can write it on a card and put it in the prayer bowl and we'll read it at this time as well. Another thing we've been doing recently is asking folks if they have something they would like to share. And so I'd like to offer that today. If you have a prayer that you'd like to speak out loud, I'll call on you. Great. I got a lot to share with you, and I couldn't write it all down. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to give thanks to Laura, at least I had my back operation. Um, it was a little more serious than they thought. The uh, cyst was wrapped around my spinal cord, and uh, they had to be very careful because uh, they could have ruptured the spinal cord or they had leaked the spinal fluid. And then they did a decompression. They cleaned it all off on my side and cleared all that. But the worst thing is last Friday, I almost died. I got impacted from the medication and everything. I was up all night, uh, couldn't sleep, and uh, they were almost ready to call ambulance. My uh, blood pressure went up to over, over 200. So anyway, but I prayed and the Lord brought me through it. Enough of me, and by the way, uh, I just turned 71 on Thursday. 69 and 70 year old, goodbye, I don't need it. <laughs> so hopefully at 71 it'll be a little better for me. But anyway, more importantly, it's not about me. Bruce, you know, little Bruce, the short Bruce, his lover Chuck is in the nursing home in Estero. He's there right now. He couldn't be with us because uh, he's all congested. He's probably on his deathbed. So if you keep your prayers, Chuck, yes, Bruce and lover, they were together, I think. 45 years or 38, whatever it is. And then lastly, my brother mentions that it's my truck right now. He's too shaped to come in. I wanted to bring him in, but. I'm not going to force him, he's going to make a choice, but he is going officially to detox. They just called us before we came, and I'm taking him at 9.30 tonight, so he's going with Salas. For, uh, so hopefully, maybe this time it'll be serious, and maybe hopefully we can get his life together. I've been trying to push him. I learned a lot about Teen Challenge, and Teen Challenge is a very good program of trying to get you off of the drugs and alcohol addiction, and so I'm hoping that that's what we'll choose to get into. So, you all also prayer. Thank you. Prayers of healing and comfort and discernment. Is there any others? Okay. There's a couple here in the book. God, give us. the guidance that we need in our life, life's journey. Prayers for Sue's partner, Mary, Osi in Maine, and Jermaine in New York. And on the prayer card, it says prayers of thanks for God's grace and God's mercy. So let's go to God in prayer. Honey God, you heard aloud some of the prayers. There are many, I'm sure, that are on the hearts of others. And I just ask that you give us that grace and mercy. Help us to be all that you need us to be for ourselves and for others. Strengthen and guide us in the way that you would have us go and fill us with your spirit, with your grace, and with your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
The first reading for today is from Ruth, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, and chapter 4, verses 13 through 17 of the New International Version. One day, Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, said to her, My daughter, I must find a home for you where you will be well provided for. Now Boaz, with whose woman you have worked, is a relative of ours. Tonight he will be winning barley on the threshing floor. Wash, put on perfume, and get dressed in your best clothes. Then go down to the threshing floor. But don't let him know you are there until he has finished eating and drinking. When he lies down, note the place where he is lying. Then go and uncover his feet and lie down. He will tell you what to do. I will do whatever you say, Ruth answered. So Boaz took Ruth and she became his wife. When he made love to her, the Lord enabled her to conceive, and she gave birth to a son. The woman said to Naomi, Praise be the, to the Lord, who this day has not left you without a guardian redeemer. May he become famous throughout Israel. He will renew your life and sustain you in your old age. For your daughter-in-law, who loves you and who is better to you than seven sons, has given him birth. Then Naomi took the child in her arms and cared for him. The woman living there said, Naomi has a son. And they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse the father of David. Here ends the reading. For today is from Mark chapter 12, verse 38 to 44 in the New International Version. As he taught, Jesus said, Watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Where do you follow directions, sir? <laughs> You know, as the gospel reading was going on today, as I sit in that high chair, place of distinction, in these flowing robes, I think, what's Jesus trying to tell me in this reading? Uh, I think, simply, for us to get over outward appearances 
about things and try to look what's inside, what's, what's in the heart. Uh, before I get too far in, into this, I just remembered I wanted to remind people that uh, we're still doing communion in the little cups. So if you haven't gotten your cup, <laughs> they're, they're, they're back there and you can, can do that. So I want to go to the first reading today. Yay! We get another reading from Ruth, the book of Ruth. It's, it's so rare that, that that book is read in church. It's probably been read at more straight weddings than you can count on. You know, that you can count on because of the phrase in there of, you know, your people will be my people, and your God, my God. And where you go, I will follow. That wasn't between a man and a woman. That was said between Ruth and Naomi. Naomi knew that she could count on Ruth to be there for her at all times and in all situations. And, and that should be a sign to us that we can count on God to be there with us at all times, in all situations, you know. That was the thing with our call to worship. And I would say, unless our God builds the house, it's builders labor in vain. Because it's, it's God's work in our life that's important. Because that's where the blessings come from. The blessings come for Naomi because Ruth allowed God to act in her and through her in very strange ways with this uncovering feet and all that stuff. Don't try to understand it. Just praise God that it produced it produced for us a savior. Because it tells us that from that child came Jesse, from that child came David, and from that child came Jesus of Nazareth for us, a Savior. So if we allow God to work in our lives, blessings will happen. Blessings occur. In our Gospel reading today, I've, I've often said it's one of the strangest things I've ever heard. Jesus there saying, about this poor widow. This poor widow gave it all. Turned it over completely. Surrendered everything that she had to the treasury. I will tell you, if I know someone who does that type of actions, I'm not going to praise them. I'm going to say, wake up, will you? Yes, give, give, give what you have. This is monetary I'm going to talk about. Give what you can, but don't bankrupt yourself. But now, on the spiritual side, on the spiritual side, you've got to give it all. You've got to give it all to God and let God take care and watch. God has called us to use the gifts that God has given us to be a blessing for others, to be a blessing in this world. And we pray that we use the gifts God has given us to be a blessing for one another. Amen. Amen. resources that were given in creation and are given anew each day. On this day, we make our offerings knowing that all that we have has come from God, who will continue to provide. Let us put our hearts in our offerings as a sign of our trust and faithfulness.
Father God, we thank you for the many resources that you have given to us with. Our personal gifts, our financial gifts, and the gift of each other. And now I ask that you bless them and multiply them, that we may continue our ministry at St. John the Apostle. These things we ask in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, and by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. <coughs> in the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to give you praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, the heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embrace the people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Savior, born of Mary, to be the living bread in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. Let us join now together in singing the prayer that Jesus taught us.
he said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shared for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim our faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. God, we plead with confidence Jesus' sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Dear God, pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son as we eat and drink these holy things in your presence. Form us into the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and may Christ be in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
conviction. Go forth into the world. Be for one another, as Ruth and Naomi were for each other. Go on the journey together, wherever it may lead you. Share the gifts of God with the people of God. Be gentle and bold, courageous and trusting. God will be with you this day and always. Go in peace.